Well, Lionel. We're a bit behind schedule. Why so? Uh, drug testing. Two times, actually. It's good to see. Um, a little bit before Boulder and then now. So that's the most I've been tested like back to back in quite a while. So that's good to see. 8.30. And I said I was starting riding at 8.30. We're on the side of the road, middle of nowhere, headed to Mount Lemmon. And we're starting at 8.30. So workout, workout is a uh, constructed combo of my dad and Aaron. So my dad told me I need to go to the mountain. So here I am at the mountain. And then Aaron told me what workout I need to do. So the workout is three by 10. Aaron says she wants me between 390 and 400. And then two by 30. Aaron said she wants me around 375. I mean, this is it's a little bit ridiculous. Like if you see my power numbers, these numbers are a bit ridiculous, these targets, but that's what Aaron wants me to do. So <clears throat> Coach Aaron and my dad. This is this is uh, this is their construction this time. drink for an hour rip this climb and so I just had to rip it for old time's sake so sorry I did three by ten I took the recovery then I was like fuck it I'm going to the top I'm going to the, <laughs> I'm going to the crosswalk and uh, so I was sub 80 through the KOM which is good pretty good with some recovery and then I think I was uh, 136 137 to the to the crosswalk so a lot quicker than my my olden days um, but uh, yeah it's just wonderful just wonderful I miss this I miss just training hard you know what I mean that, that that's what got me into this just I just love training hard I, I, I don't care about anything else I just enjoy it this is for me so yeah I needed this so we're at uh, an hour 55 so I just cool down for a little bit down and then we'll go home and then we'll do the run at home and then we'll do the swim but that was pretty hard. Thought his mother after now. What's the temperature? 100 degrees Fahrenheit. We finally did it. Yay. It's June 16th. And you know when the next time it won't be 100? When? Mid to late September. Recovery like we were doing 400s. It's the equivalent. So we're just going to do, we're completely violating the, the, the law of the coin. And we're doing the opposite of what the coin said. Which is 10 200s on 245. To be successful, for me, and I think Ben is the same as me, swimming, it's sub 226. So 113s. Like I said, we're gonna ratchet that up. That's the min. If you don't do that, then, well, maybe you shouldn't have climbed Mount Lemon this morning, you know? And who are you swimming with? I'm swimming with Ben Foltz. Don't worry, he's got his shirt to show you what team he's on. Not on our team, that's for damn certain. Fuck TTL. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see they snubbed us too in their last video? What'd they say? We put out a 48 hours training video and uh -huh. they put out the same day not a training video. Not another training video. Unreal. When are you going to collab with them? How much money you need? I don't know. You know, I was thinking about it. Now, I don't know. I don't really know if I want to. All the things Ben's telling me about what's going on at that group. Really? What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just, just not getting a good feeling about it. I've said nothing but good things. What's the, what's the dev team? TTL dev team. It's a great question. What is it? Ben? It gives people like me opportunities to go pro. Well, there you well, go. For smaller pros to make it big. I, I don't think... You say you're small? How tall are you? <laughs> I don't think Mother Nature wanted anyone to hear that. The wind started really kicking up when he was talking over there. He said it allows 
smaller pros. I would have chose chose a different word than that, but smaller pros. Developing they're bit, pros? They're, they're developing pros. Just pro. beginning pros. Beginning first pros. Year pros. First year pros. Trevor Foley type pros. Trevor Foley type pros to go pro. To have the means to go pro. And why didn't Trevor Foley join the team? Because he's already got sponsors. And his personality wouldn't fit. He's too crazy. Egotistic or what? No. They're only looking for docile pros on... Uh... They're looking for people that are driven. <laughs> wow, he ain't even here to defend himself. We're taking shots at him. He's going to love this video. How many meters? 4,100 yards. That's good. That's my consistent. I was trying to hit 4,000 a day for the most part. 20k a week meters. That's like my sweet spot seems. Swimming quite a while, so once again, swimming should be your your gate your gauge of your training. You're swimming well? Okay. Load is okay. Load is good then. Bike and run load is good. Deteriorating in the swim, bike and run loads too much. Or not eating proper. Or not sleeping proper. Combo. You've already finished your run and you had two glasses of chocolate milk and now you're eating a banana and you're on your way to dinner. Can't wait. It's my fourth banana today. Hey Dean, what do you think about that? I think you're gonna become a banana. Hopefully they're good for you. <laughs> yeah. So what are your goals and plans the rest of the year? What would you like to execute? What would I like to execute? Yeah, what's your goals for the rest of the year and your plan? My goal is to get back on the world stage. My goal is to get back to where I once was. And maybe, just maybe, transcend it by 1%. And where was I once? A lot better than I am now. So, at least on the bike and the run. I'm a better swimmer actually now than I was then, but. 70.3s? Yeah, I'm not even interested in Ironman anymore. I don't. I, I just don't have any desire to do. What's Ironman. your best year in 70.3s? Best year? Yeah. Um, I've done some good performances at 70.3. I, I won the North American Champs a couple times. I won the Challenge Championship a couple times. Uh, I got fourth at the Worlds. Uh, you know, I'm still bitter about 2016. It's still my best 70.3. I got ninth. Yeah, I just I just feel like I, I'm just a shell of myself. And I'm racing like a shell of myself and I'm not able to do the things that I want to do mentally because my body is not there. So talk is cheap. You can sit on these videos and say whatever you want. It's easy to say. I mean I tell myself this all the time. It's easy to say you're gonna be world champ. It's hard to do it. So a lot of guys say they want to do it. I've said I want to do it. Have I ever really committed like a guy who really wants to do it? No, I haven't. You're getting up at 10 a.m. You eat like a bag of shit. You have no fucking discipline. You don't want to win the world champ. All you're doing is fucking talking. You don't really want to win the world championship then. Because the guy who does, does all those things. He does them right. He does the best he can. He thinks about everything. He knows that recovery is the most important thing outside of training. Equally important to training. So now I would like to just talk, I would like to walk the walk, you talk all the fucking time, shut the fuck up, and 
uh, just just walk the walk now. All right, you can do it. I can do it. I can be competitive. I know I can. I prove to myself all the time because I go to these races underprepared, tired as fuck, and I do okay. Like I push myself really far. I mentally, have, all these things have built me up, and I'm ready now. I can get my now. I believe I can get my body there. If I get my body there and then meld it with my mind, then I believe I can be competitive still against this new era of athletes. So. So what will your race schedule look like the rest of the year? I'm going to do uh, Trombant next weekend. And then I'm going to do Oregon. And then I'm going to do Milwaukee. And then I, well, I kind of have to qualify for Milwaukee, actually. I don't know if I am a qualifier. But anyways, I'd like to do Milwaukee. Uh, and then my focus will be 70.3 Worlds. I will make that my peak. And then... Uh, you know, what happens after that's kind of up in the air, but I'd like to go back home and do a few races, you know, like old school races. And so, uh, I haven't raced in Michigan in a long time, so I'd like to do Michigan 70.3. And then I'd also like to finish the season off at Augusta 70.3 and call it a season and take uh, the rest of September and October nice and easy, recovery, detrain a bit, and then get back, uh, get back on the grind for 2024. Indian Wells? I'll open the season in Indian Wells again for sure. I have redemption to, to be gotten there. And then, uh, yeah, I think next year is supposed to be a big year on the PTO circuit. And so I definitely want to, you know, use this year as a, as a year to really get myself back up or better. And then uh, hopefully I can target those PTO races and then also 70.3 Worlds again. And that's, that's all I'm interested in. I don't, I don't have any desire to go back to Ironman right now I think when you do Ironman you've decided that whatever I am as an athlete that's who I'm gonna be because the training is just so much that you I don't think you can really improve in the disciplines you can just lengthen out who you already are and so um, I'll go around over here and so yeah I just want to keep improving 